I remember going in for a tackle and that's just when my whole world just kind of shattered. Chelsea Marie Kvarkis. My dad's from Cartagena and soccer is installed in us since we are young. I competitively started traveling when I was 14. Argentina, Ecuador, Bermuda, all over the United States. I originally started trying out for the Columbia National Team when I was 16 years old. I actually went with two other girls and they were the ones that were supposed to make it. I finally accomplished something, but I didn't really know the meaning behind everything then. Four years later, I was in college and I got called back for the full-blown women's Columbia national team. I'm around women that competed before. They've been to World Cup. Unfortunately, I got cut from going to the Olympics, but I took it as a lesson. I'm a fighter. I'll come back in two years and I'll compete. I never believed in giving up. Straight from national camp, I came into the States to just train. I was about to start my senior season. I'd gotten a red card, so I wasn't supposed to play that game that I got hurt in. My coach had decided, because it was my senior season, she wrote to the NCAA, please let her play. I went in for a tackle and my whole knee just popped out. There were so many people there, but it got really, really quiet. I couldn't hear a thing. As soon as they put me on the bench, I remember looking over to my dad. He looked at me and he saw me just hysterical. My dad started tearing. I was at my prime. I, I think that's the best I have. I've been playing consistently for a while. And I looked down and I, I just kept saying, I was like, I'm, I'm done, like, I'm done. My soccer career is absolutely over. When I went in for surgery, I remember being very nervous. He said, listen, I went in there and you really did a lot of damage. You tore your ACL, MCL, PCL, and your meniscus. I was very depressed. My recovery didn't really go as planned. You're supposed to bend your leg right after you get out of surgery. But my scar tissue built up so fast that they had to put me under the knife again and take out all my scar tissue. I got back to play a fifth year in college. My second game back, I tore my meniscus again. I think that's when it really hit me. I didn't know if this was my calling anymore. I doubted myself all the time. Before it was, hey, I'm Chelsea, I'm a soccer player. At that moment, it was like, who am I? What do I do with my life? My rehab lasted two years, so within those two years, I definitely had to figure out what I was gonna do with my life after soccer because I learned the hard way that soccer doesn't last forever. I started interning for a radio station and then from there I kind of graduated onto being on screen. I got a job with the New York Cosmos and One World Sports Network. While hosting, I would have to be at their practices and I'd have to watch them. That kind of encouraged me to keep on playing. That's kind of how I stayed around the sport while working. After rehabbing for two years, I heard my therapist say, when do you have to be ready by? I was like, what? <laughs> like, what did you say? I spoke to some of my teammates and I got in touch with the Comey National coach. I said, listen, the next camp is going to be in March. If you want to come, you're more than welcome to come. That's when I realized I'm never going to be 100%. So I told the coach, I was like, listen, I'm going to be there in March and I'm going to try out. I played with my heart and soul and I left everything out on the field. The coach pulled me over and he said, listen, I want you to be on the team. You're gonna be part of the girls that are gonna be registered for the Olympics. I walked away and I just started bawling. This journey has been so long. There's so many people that doubted me. You can't go back to the national team. Look at your leg, it's basically broken. And yeah, there were times that I got discouraged. But look where I am now. I made the squad and I'm, and I'm back. My goal is to go to the Olympics and I know I will be at Rio with the 18 that they picked. Thank you.